Okay, so Facebook. I'm going to do a little check-in uh, live with one of our uh, bootcamp clients. Um, Ultimately, I keep getting asked loads of questions about what is bootcamp about, what do we do, how do we do it, why is CW any different to everybody else? Um, and I can tell you till I'm blue in the face that I know we're different, and I know that what we do is it, it, from the implementation side of things is just not not like nothing else that exists in the marketplace. However, um, you know, I'm I'm the company, and so of course I'm going to say that. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to really introduce you to one of our clients who. Um, I'm going to bring on, hopefully, if I can make the split screen work in a second, um, to for him to share with you guys what his experience has been and what's happened since and so on. Um, and that way, then when people ask me, I can just send them the link to this video. And so it will be in his own words rather than in mine. Um, so Moses Elliot, are you here? Where are you? I'm going to have to bring you in. OK, so... You have to bear with me, guys, because tech is tech is not working for me today. But uh, I'm hoping that we can bring him in. Are you here, Mr. Elliot? It worked. It just froze. Is it working now, Jack? Is it working? I haven't frozen. I'll stand like this. I'm still here. So, Mr. Elliot, I need you to come in on this video so I can add you. Technology, technology. Aha, here he is. He's popped up. It's a... Hopefully this works. Done this is Mr. Elliot. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Elliot. Are you the face of me? I'm back. Here I am. Is that better? Yeah, it's a bit yeah, better. It's a bit better. I can still hear myself twice, but. Twice, but... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay so, so um, um, just introduce who you, who you are. My name's Steve, Steve Gorman, that's the Elliot, not Moses. So I've got a property business called Moses Elliot Property Services, which is named after my little bud. Um, I'm based in Warrington, I'm from, I'm from Liverpool, and we're investing in um, Warrington within three thousand. Anywhere where there's uh, deals, investments, opportunities. Have you got your hand over your microphone? We're very quiet. No. 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 I love a lie. I love a lie. Just talk loud. Talk loud. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, um, so um, how did you discover? Uh, uh, did you well for me? Well, right. So, I found you on Facebook forever ago. Um, you know, as I've said to you loads of times, I just I pester everyone. I look for people who are doing well, doing you know, doing the things I want to do, and there uh, are you know a number of steps ahead of me. So I found you on Facebook, um, and I went to a local networking event close to me. I met someone else uh, who won another networking event called Howard Kane. Uh, just found a property meet, uh, and we got chat, and I got uh, I got telling them sort of uh, about sort of people, inspirational people to me and people I'd like to meet and I mentioned your name, I mentioned Tina Watts and as luck would have it, he had both you and Tina Watts booked into a speaker his group so I, um, I signed up to his group over in Bolton started going to a little plug for Asana there started going to the Asana group over in Bolton uh, just so I could meet you so I met you uh. on, uh, on the April meet and you uh, had me off for the 10 half bridge gym so I did, I did. See what you're all about, and um, you know, even just to, to, to get a ten hours of gym back. And, and yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. So, um, um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you're yeah, quiet. quiet. Can you hear me at all? I am. I can now. I can now. I thought I could just go here. I guess you can hear me. I think your hand. You're hand. Are you still not holding it? No, it's not. I'm just holding it at the back. No, I'm not. Yeah, I can hear you now. Is that better? Another <laughs> live. A little bit. A little bit. Hold on. Just talk now. Hold on, let me take my phone out the case. Hold on. Oh, that was totally oh, that was it. it. <laughs> I'm very much enjoying this Facebook Live, which is now frozen. Is that better? Hold much on. better. Is it? Oh. Yeah, much better. Okay, there you go. Well, do you know what it's saying? Yeah, Quiet mode turned on, it says. 
don't know what that means. Well, I can hear you now. Okay, cool. Okay, so amazing. So um, you stalked me on Facebook forever, is what you basically I'm still listed. stalking you. I'll and keep on stalking you. Yeah. Yeah. Every morning I wake up to notifications. I'll take it though, it's good. Um, and the, you know, we met at Asana. Yeah, it was a really great event up in uh, South uh, Bolton. 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 It's in Bolton, isn't Bolton. it? Yeah, in Bolton. It's run by a guy called Harold Ka Howard Kane, not Harold Kane, Howard Kane. Um, I loved speaking there. It was an amazing event. It was really, really good fun. Um, and so, yeah, I, he offered me, a, Steve, uh, Steve offered me a drink and um, we didn't realise that the gin and tonics were like 11 quid. So, yeah, yeah that's that was the funny story of how we met. Um, Steve, have you done other training before you met us? I have. Am I allowed to mention names or not? Can I do what I want? Okay. Well, yeah, I, I can't stop you, but I've done, I've done other training. Um, yeah, I have. I've done other training. It was one. Of, it, it, it was with Legacy. I did Legacy training, so it was okay. their it was their three day uh, Legacy training. So I have done other training. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um. And what was the biggest difference between attending other training and attending our boot camp? What was the biggest difference for you? Um. I was trying. I'm, I'm just thinking to try and summarise it in one word, and I'm, I'm struggling. Um, a number, a number. You don't have to use one word. Well, I'm struggling. Yeah, well, I, I would struggle. There were so many differences. It was, it was. They were worlds apart. Absolute worlds apart. Um, first, um, uh, go, go on, are we going to say something? Now? No. No, okay. no, go on. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, the first, the first batch of training we did, uh, it cost us a grand. It was a three days. Um, it was obviously, I don't know if you've advertised your prices. It was, that was a little bit cheaper than your three day, but uh, uh, was it a bit yeah, cheaper? I I was, no, it wasn't, it wasn't it was, Yeah, it was a little bit cheaper, but uh, I'm just I'm, I'm having to button people are ringing me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I've, just, I've, just but, I, I've just buttoned me dad. <laughs> As if you'd ever button Sarah <laughs> Ryan. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so we. So, so we did uh, we did three days over in Manchester. Um, I, um, I I knew quite quite a lot of uh, day one. Um, there was little bits and stuff that I didn't know about, and it's I think you know it's tailored for people who are brand new, uh, brand new to property, which is fair enough. So you know, me me my wife got quite a bit out of it. Um, but day two was uh, was a little bit better, but we didn't finish day three. Um, from the very, very, very start, it was sales. Um, so don't, don't, and... don't, don't slag off anybody. If you're about no, to no, slag I'm people not. off, I'm don't not. do it. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, okay, fine. I'm not. That's all I was going to say. But when it when the difference okay. is when we got to your course, expect I, you know, obviously, I, you know, it's a business at the end of the day. So I knew you were going to have um, yeah. other courses or other opportunities that we could of go course. on. But the difference with you is, yeah. Uh, but the difference with you is, um, you know, we knew you. You know that you're going to sort of mention that at some point but you concentrated on delivering your training course from you know half eight in the morning right through to the end uh, and that little segment was it was what it is it, it came and it went and it was just you know this is this is what we do if anyone's interested then cool come see us and if you're not no problem and that's what i liked about yours that you could sort of concentrate on the content you could concentrate on on learning um without sort of like worrying i'm gonna pay for this um or you know made to feel like you um you wouldn't be successful if you didn't sign up to any more training. So from, so, a, from a content perspective, let's focus on the content stuff. Yeah. Um, in terms of the key differences, the we focus a lot on implementation, okay? So yeah. um, just share with the world, what were the key things that you personally implemented in your business over the three days? Because everybody does slightly different stuff. So what yeah. were the things that you did over the three days that you hadn't done before? Uh, okay, so yeah, so the, I mean, there's a lot of things uh, to, to, that, that I took away from your your course. Um, so implementation over the three, actually, while we were there, sort of in the hotel room and in the class. So in the class, you obviously made us do a Facebook Live, which I'd never done. This is only my second one ever. And I'm now being interviewed <laughs> on Facebook Live, my second ever Facebook Live. Um, so obviously, you made us do that to jump out of our comfort zone, um, and you know that tied into marketing the importance of marketing your business. Sorry, getting people texting me now. Yeah. Um, the importance of marketing your business. So uh, we obviously set up a, a page, this is called a landing page, like a, a form. We've set up a form through yep. MailChimp, uh, advertising our investor list, uh, attached that to my website to my Facebook page. Um, Realised the importance of branding. So I was, um, I've, 
I've, you know, I'm a compliance sourcer. I've been sending out sourcing documents and stuff, but they've all just been like done on pages or on words, and they didn't look very professional. They had, yeah. they had a lot of content in them, but didn't look very professional. So your course sort of showed me the importance of being professional positioning. No, I like that word, positioning. Sort of position yourself as some professional who knows what they're talking about, um, and just 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 coming across as as. No, I just keep saying a professional. So, uh, yeah, while I was on the course, I've, uh, I've branded all my um, my literature, my sort of terms and conditions, my um, contracts, um, investor packs, everything. So, yeah, we've, we've, we've done that. I've, uh, I've changed my logo on my Facebook page. I've changed uh, parts of the website. Um, I'm struggling a lot, a lot, a, a lot, a lot. Yeah, and you know what? It's 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 been it's, it's been almost a week, and I haven't even I've been doing so much. Um, I've been doing so much with with the stuff that I've learned that I haven't even started typing up my notes yet. I haven't even opened that book again. Honestly, I've got. I reckon I can sit in front so, of the laptop for ten hours for another week. Well, don't time up, type them up if you don't have to. That feels like an admin task to me. No, do you know what? It's good for me because you were saying. I, I, I be, I read it again. So by typing up, I read it again. That's how I used oh, to study. Okay. So fair enough, fair enough. Whatever works for you, right? Whatever works for you. So, do you remember what we did on the first day? What was the scariest thing you were made to do on day one? Oh, the calls in the room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so day the one. In the Just explain what I made you do. Made you do. Yeah. So, so, so day one. Um, basically, it's sort of uh, it, it ties into sort of generating leads and speaking to people and sort of again, it's just you know. Dragging your kick and screaming out your comfort zone. So, I mean, Gumtree <laughs> is something that we use anyway, um, or that I've used anyway. But Sarah's obviously made us uh, go into Gumtree, uh, find some um, deals, leads, properties, whatever, you know, in your chosen area. Um, and I think people were concentrating on finding stuff that was relevant to them, so that they could progress as leads. But the idea was not to find a deal. It was to pick up the phone and speak to someone. So we've done, a, uh, we've done an exercise about a question set. So we were um, looking yeah. at questions, uh, t- writing down a load of questions that we could ask um, a, you know, a prospective, um, I don't know what you want to call them, a client. Someone you want to deal with, a landlord, if you like, you need to get yeah. rid of a property or wants to sort of rent it out. Um, we, we wrote down all the questions. Uh, and then once we had the question set ready, we were told we needed to fire out an email to, I think it was five different people. Uh, and then turn our yeah. phones on. And say, so turn your phone on. And if the phone rings, we're going to answer it in the room. And um, and we did. You know, to be honest, I, I, you know, to be honest, at first, I left my phone on the side so it looked like what, and I switched, but I, I put it on silent. And then I looked around, and thought, do you know what? Let's just do it. So I put it back on. I, I literally, I couldn't believe you did that. It was thirty, it was 30 seconds. But I did see other people doing it. <laughs> I saw other people doing it as well. So for you, you need to be on that. You need to be policing that next time on your next course. Oh, I'm good. But I did. It's gonna happen. I had a little, it's be I had your a, fault. I had a little wobble. I had a little wobble and um, and I turned it back on. But then, to be honest, I was waiting for it to ring. And if you remember during the meal at the night, it, it actually did ring. And I actually did book yeah. a view and, and I did go and see the guy on Sunday uh, after the course. So, you know, this stuff works. Which is amazing. Yeah. That is exactly the this point, stuff, is that you actually works. leave with leads. Yeah, I love this, it. this stuff. Why are you holding your dog's ball? Is that your dog's ball you've got hold of? It's not. It's my prickly ball for my feet when I was training for the marathon. But I actually now use it as a stress ball. In right, okay. Are you stressed? <laughs> No, I'm just like chilling out, talking to you. Yeah, so yeah, so I mean that was it. Uh, say that, that, that dragged us, dragged us right out of our comfort zone. Now just waiting for the phone to ring, and um, it was exciting. Yeah. though. it was you know it was nervous, it was nerve nerve wracking, but it was exciting. But I don't mind speaking to people on the phone. Uh, but when you're speaking on the phone in front of twelve other people, and ex- you know hoping to get it right, and it will never be harder than no, that no, ever. No. It will never be more difficult no, no. than but, that. But it's good. But, so, the, amazing. but I mean, th- this is. I mean, obviously, I've done other training. I've not done loads of other training, but I have done other training. And that was something that I never expected. Um, and obviously, we didn't see anywhere else. And, you know, I don't know if other people do it or not. But I just, for me, I thought that was it was fantastic. It was brilliant. Like, and you, you can't get away with just sitting there and taking all the information in, but then not doing anything with it. And that's what I like. I mean, that's, I mean, you can do as much training as you want. But, you know, like I said on a post yesterday, if you haven't got the, uh, if you haven't got the drive, if you get up and go, go up and gone, then you can do as much training yeah. as you like. That's the thing, isn't it? You're, um, they say that information is cheap, yeah. but implementation is worth yeah. everything. Yeah. And it's true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, every business person 
if you don't take the action and you don't do put the stuff you've learned into into place or put it in the business then there was no point learning it in the first exactly. place you might as well just w watch these senders or whatever exactly. it is you yeah. know and um, whatever whatever normal people do that aren't in the entrepreneurial world i don't know what they do um you know okay cool so thank you very much for that i think that's going to be super helpful for people to understand um quite how hands-on the coaching and the implementation is in the room and um definitely people um it's definitely not right for people who don't want to be launching their business in the room because it absolutely yeah. is yeah. that that is what we are yeah. there to do yeah. is to get you so that you've got leads to talk yeah. about and speak to and things okay. like that so for you what would you say has changed the most in you since boot camp fire either second? fire fire honestly so i just i came away for the for the whole for the for, you know i was just getting more and more excited and more excited as the sort of three days went on and when I was sort of learning different things and things about marketing, even like little things like Mailchimp, um, the like the algorithms that you were talking about in Facebook, and how to use the um, use the Facebook schedule instead of using an app, and and the reasons why, and sort of like you know when we when when you're sort of going through all your your packs and your paperwork and all the things that you offer and positioning and partners and all the rest of it, I was just sitting there thinking, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god! I was just sitting there thinking, "Wow!" And I was I was getting dead excited. And sort of by, uh, I think it was halfway through day three, I was sitting there and I was like, I was still excited to listen to what was going on. And obviously, we had some great speakers and stuff there as well. You know, we had Justin there, we had Sonny there. Um, but what even while you're there and I'm listening to these things, I was getting dead frustrated. I'm looking at my laptop, thinking, "I want to go. I want to go now. I want to go now. I want to go now." <laughs> and I, you know, I'm thinking, "I've got so much to do. I've learned so much in these two and a half days, and I have to really concentrate to sort of like." listen for that especially after uh, that you know the ridiculous food you provide as well so i was you know falling asleep and struggling to stay awake and we put on lunch. yeah yeah that's yeah. the lunch, thing that i forget to tell everybody we put on a really lovely bang lunch on lunch all three yeah. days as well, well I, said, I, I was just i was i was so excited to just to just get on you know and in 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 the um in, in the night time and stuff i'm just there uh, i'm on you know i'm on the train on the way back and i'm, I'm on, on the uh on the in first class first time ever by the way uh and i'm on the uh, really yeah, yay yeah, i'm on the uh did you get free food and coffee oh, well, or food? Mm, yeah, it, it's classed as food. But yeah, it was all right. <laughs> Not as good as exactly, our lunch, no. right? But I, I'd be laughed up on the way back and I was there, ready. No fingers. I've, I've had smoke coming off my fingers since Saturday. So <laughs> Amazing. Just, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm dead excited. And it's, I think it's just because I realise what's possible. You know, when you when you tell your Amazing. story about, you know, you started in, what, 2015, I think it was. And then, you know, if you, I mean, as you've seen, I've gone through all your Facebook videos over the last two years, bringing your brown hair back to the top of the feed. So you if, you, if you go onto Sarah's feed and have a look at her videos from two years ago, just the way, I mean, I, I don't know how to describe it. You can just see a change in you and you can see in, you know, in the last four years where you, where you started and where you are now. And then you're actually able to show people what you've done. Yeah. I mean, if you go back four years, you do, you've, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll do it. I haven't, got, I haven't got that far yet, so I'll, I'll, I'll look at everything. But you know, when you realise, it's, it's, it's you, you, I think you're, you're really good at showing what's achievable, what's possible. If you jump out your comfort zone and just, just do it, just go and do it, and that's, that's what I really like about the course. What I really like about you, um, you sort of make, you know, you make, you make, you make me realise I can be and I will be successful. And, uh, and I think it ties into coaching as well. You, totally. You know, you, you know, just when we're saying back in, you know, back in the room when you're sort of forcing people to, um to pick up the phone and ring, you know, if you don't have someone sat next to you making you do that, you know, some people are going to struggle to do that. So those sort of people might benefit from, from yeah. coaching. So having someone to say, have you done it? Have you done it? Or hold, hold them to accounts. And that's what's good about the accountability group as well. You know, and yeah. we set up an accountability uh, WhatsApp group as well. So we can every day, you know, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Do, ah, it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So you need someone. Some, yeah, sometimes people need people to push them. So I think you'd be a great coach as well. So amazing so um for anyone that's considering coming to boot camp what would you say oh, to i'd them? say don't bother go to the other, the other the other big i'm only joking yeah i'd say absolutely <laughs> <laughs> i'd say no <laughs> no absolutely absolutely i think uh, it's it's absolute mega 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 value for money i think the um the course content is fantastic um it's a lot i mean if you if you're absolutely completely brand new to property it, you, your mind will be blown it's a rare it's a lot to take in over the three days it's you know half eight in the morning until i think we, we think the latest we did was 22 quarters to six or something 
you know, 10 minute break. From yeah, latest. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely jam packed with information. Um, it's, um, you know, if you've got, if you've not got a lot of money and you're looking to sort of get into sourcing, it's, you know, I've read a lot of reviews about the course even since just to see if, uh, if I'm just, you know, if I've got some sort of, you know, some, some, some mad crush on Sarah Poyton or something, and that's why I love it. So, I just, <laughs> but I've, no, I've, I've, I've read loads of reviews. I've read loads of reviews and stuff, and it's um, it, it, it seems to be the best training course for sourcing. Um, I love the idea of rent to rent. I mean, I'd always, I'd always looked at rent to rent as a strategy. Um, I've got a risk averse missus who's oh no no it's a house of cards it could all come crumbling down you don't own anything. But once I've once I've and now I've done this course and I've gone back and I've been going on it and, and shouting at her for a week going this is what we're doing. She's like okay 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 so. Yeah, if anyone wants to do it, I think, honestly, it will absolutely supercharge your business. There's, there's so many things packed in the course that you couldn't even possibly think about. You know, even like just, just, just one little thing, two little things could, could, could send your business to the uh, to the stratosphere. You know, and if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know, I suppose. So, True. Yeah. So um, we've got a few people on. So I want to just open the room, if that's all right with you, to if anyone's got any questions they want to ask Steve, um you know your own questions and i'll just feed them back to him i'm happy to field questions because we get a lot of questions and it's important that we get an opportunity to kind of answer them in a way that is from you rather than from me so if anyone has got any questions um i'd just chuck them in um liz bateson hello <laughs> liz is saying that every time she sees me i look younger i'll take that um i'm more than happy with that comment thank you very much uh, i've no idea what i'm doing um I, I got up at half past four this morning as well. I've done an airport run before work. So um, I've literally got no idea what I'm doing. I should look ranked today. Although <laughs> Gucci Foundation does help. I'm going to chuck it out there. So maybe it's that. Who knows? Gucci Foundation. <laughs> I'll have to get myself some. <laughs> I got given it as a present. I don't think I'd spend that money on face on makeup. But I got given it as a gift. So I wear it. Why not? Um, has anyone got any questions at all they want to chuck at Steve? If not, I'll let him get back to his very busy day. Busy day? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it better be. You better be working. I've got the wife's off and I've got a two-year-old with me who's just like, I've just, I've had, I've had to come out and sit in the car just because my two-year-old won't leave me alone. Where is your two-year-old? I hope you've not left him. No, the wife, yeah, I've left him in. I've, yeah, I've just given him <laughs> a coffee and just said, sit there, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Just left him in Starbucks. Yeah, he's, he's all right. Uh, Sue Morton wants to know what gel you use on your hair. Oh, uh, do you know what? It's L'Oreal Matte Matt Putty. But I can't go too high. There you go. It's going to be seeding. See? <laughs> Amazing. So, listen, there's no more questions coming in. I just Good. want to thank you very much. Um, Good. You know, your energy at boot camp was amazing. Uh, you did, you trusted me and you let me push you. Um, even when you felt like it was going to be painful, you trusted me and you let me do that for you. And actually you're starting to see the results. Um, I guess I just want to end on, in terms of the number of leads you've got in your pipeline right now that you're kind of talking to, conversations you've been having, do you know how many you've got roughly? Do you know what, S um, since boot camp, you know, the, uh, the MailChimp form we sent out, excuse me, I've had 13 people sign yeah. up to that. So, so yeah. You know, okay, so let, what? Let's just let me just explain what that yeah. is. So the um, this is the landing page that we create with you in yeah. the room, which is the starting point of your investor yeah. list. Obviously, you can't sell deals to anybody unless you've got investors yeah. to sell yeah. them to. So what we do is we set you up your landing page in the in a way that's GDPR compliant, database compliant, um, all of the other bits and pieces that you need. And um, we do that with you in the room on the last day. So what Steve's saying is that since boot camp, you've had thirteen investors join that yeah. list that you're now having conversations yeah. with. Yeah, and and and, 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 the, um, and it's good because the you know as uh, as part of the uh, the set will be asking where where they're interested in sort of uh, investing. So you know yeah. a lot of them are around where we're sourcing anyway. But then we've got uh, there's a couple of people from abroad. There's a Chinese guy and someone from Amazing. like from Ukraine or somewhere like that. It was uh, France, France, French girl. Okay. Yeah. So we got so there's you know Amazing. So, you know put you in, in in touch with overseas investors. So you know and that's been a goal of mine for a little while actually. So I've got a. Uh, I've got a couple of friends who've got investors from Singapore and he's doing really big things. So, yeah, and I say it's about getting yourself out Good there, stuff. putting yourself out there, letting everyone know what you do. For this us, is amazing. For everybody. Um, yeah, honestly. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing. Well, listen, thank you. Thank you so much for giving up your time this morning. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sure that I'm going to, well, I've said to you, I'm going to base, when people ask me what boot camp's like, I'm basically just going to send them the link to this That's video. So, um, 
I will let you get on with your day. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay. See you soon. See you soon. Catch you later. Bye. Bye. I'll Bye. Do that. Okay.